Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I am your host, Michael Crane. In this follow-up to video number 83, Isolated Ground PDU Conversion, we investigate the capacitive coupling we measured between our isolated ground PDU's electronics and its enclosure. When we measured it with our fluke multimeter in, in video 83, it showed about 17 volts AC from the PDU case to equipment ground. But what's the current? Are we talking amps or microamps? And is it dangerous? Let's find out. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna see how much power is actually getting transferred from the case into the, into the equipment ground here, okay? To do that, I'm going to use uh, this little quarter watt 1K ohm um, resistor as a shunt resistor so we can uh, determine how much current is, is actually getting transferred from the case to the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up real quick and, and I'll be back. Okay, so here's a test set up. I've got uh, one wire uh, attached to the uh, equipment, or I'm sorry, to the uh, enclosure mounting tab right, right here. All right. And it's going into one side of this 1K resistor. Another side of the resistor is going uh, to the building ground, which is simulating our equipment ground. All right. And then I just have the uh, voltmeter uh, measuring the uh, voltage across the uh, the 1k ohm resistor all right so i'm gonna turn the voltmeter back on ac and uh <laughs> let's let's power this guy up it looks like we've got about about three millivolts all right okay well that 1k resistor uh wasn't working uh it was showing about three millivolts you notice when i first turned it on it uh, it kind of shot up and went down and jumped around and and I, and I believe we're in the noise right. So what I did is I went ahead and put a 10k uh, shunt resistor in here and it's still powered off as you noticed. And if you notice, yeah, see all I have to do is just touch it. So so we're down in the noise at this right here. We we needed a bigger shunt resistor. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this back on now. Okay, so now we're now we're above the noise. <laughs> okay, so we're reading about 37. If it settles down, we'll just let's just call it 37 millivolts. Okay, and some quick math tells us that uh, so with 37 millivolts divided by 10k gives us about 3.7 microamps. All right. Okay, and, and that's pretty small, right? And if you're wondering why I'm using the shunt resistor instead of the, the fluke multimeter to measure the, the current, is because just in case something bad happens, I didn't want it to, <laughs> I'd rather it blow up the resistor than blow up my, my fluke multimeter. We can actually do this real quick. Go ahead and power this guy off. All right, plug him, put it down here in the, Microamp range. Alrighty. Let's see. We want Oop, microamps. All right. <laughs> Turn this baby on, and it's it's saying about. 2.9 microamps. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, getting down this this low is really hard to to measure because the multimeter has got shunt resistor in there. It's got to compensate for. And if you um, go on the EEV blog, they uh, Dave Jones has made a device called a microcurrent that um, is supposed to help fix this. So yeah, it's called burden voltage. That's, that's the term I was looking for. But anyway, we know it's about 
3 to 3.7 microamps, right? Which is, <laughs> which is extremely small. So we don't have to worry about wasting too much power or, or muddying up the uh, equipment ground with this, all right? Don't forget, you can support the Network Engineering video blog by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. That helps and hit the subscribe button. That really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.